welcome to the first workout in this 2220 series where we'll be using a kettlebell and a super band. You can find either one of these pieces of equipment in most gyms or on Amazon. Now we want to use weight that's challenging for you. So I recommend finding a light to medium resistance band and a 10 to 15 pound kettlebell. We're going to start today's workout with a 2 minute 20 second warm up, so let's get started. I'm going to have you start by placing your feet hips length apart. And we're going to start with inchworms. So I'm going to tuck the chin to the chest, roll the shoulders forward, roll all the way down, and we're going to walk it out into a plank position. Then we walk it back, roll it up vertebra by vertebra, head's the last thing that comes up. We're going to go again. The goal is to try to keep the legs straight, so we're really getting a dynamic stretch through the hamstring. But if you're really tight and you need to bend those knees a little bit, that's okay too. So keep going with me. Make sure the core stays engaged. We've got about three more of these. Another thing that may help is just to widen up the feet just a little bit. You may be able to keep the legs straighter. Give me one more. And hold plank for me here. Bring your feet together. We're gonna start with mountain climbers. So you're gonna tuck your knees in towards your elbows, crunching your abs every time. Give me three more. Two. And one. Good job. Spread the feet. You're gonna push back into downward dog, trying to keep those legs straight. Fire up your quads here so you really feel a stretch through the hamstring and start pedaling it out for me. We want to stretch the calves and the back of the legs here and shift back into plank where we're going to go into runner stretches. Bringing the left foot forward and alternating with the right. Immediately switch onto the left side. I know those arms are starting to burn, but that's good. We're getting the blood flowing. And everything should be feeling warm now. Spread those feet apart. Walk the hands back, roll it all the way up. The shoulders should be warm, the core should be warm. We're gonna work those legs a little bit more with some basic squats. You wanna sit back as if you're sitting into a chair. You wanna make sure your knees are not going over your toes. Whew. Good, everybody's heart rate should be up. Give me five more here. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Finish off with five jumping jacks for me. One, two, three, four, five. All right, everybody. We're gonna get started with our first circuit of the day. All right, guys, we're gonna start with the first exercise in this circuit, a super band press. So I want you to grab your super band, step on it with the right foot, Step through with the left and bring it up to your shoulder. Lunge down just a little bit and press the band forward to start our 20 second interval. Ready, set, and go. Now we're pressing straight out. We're not pressing up here. You wanna make sure your core is engaged. You wanna make those shoulders really have to work. Keep pushing, five seconds. And rest, guys. Good. Our 20 second work interval is gonna be always followed by a 20 second rest interval. So take your time here. We're gonna go into kettlebell swings next. The important element of this move is that we're really driving the motion from the hips, okay? The upper body does very little here. You wanna keep your back flat and your chest up. Three seconds, here we go. Good. Kettlebell swings through the legs. Keep those legs parallel and push out, driving the motion from the hips. Good job, guys. Keeping that chest up. Flat back, three seconds, and rest for me. Good job. Now our last move is a reverse lunge with the kettlebell, and we're gonna add a one-arm swing. So, grab your kettlebell. If I'm gonna step back with my left leg, I'm gonna swing back with my right arm. So, stepping back into a lunge 
and swing the kettlebell forward. 20 seconds on each side. Now, this is really gonna challenge your core and your leg stability. Your glutes are gonna burn. Three seconds, guys, before we switch. And here we go, other side. This should really start to get that heart rate up. I'm having a hard time breathing. You should too. Keep pushing it, keep that form up. Good job, guys, time. 20 seconds, and we're gonna do all of that again. I'm gonna just wipe the sweat off my face, grab some water if you want. Whew. Beginning with the super band press. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the movement just so I'm ready. Here we go, guys, press it out. Good, make sure you're keeping that good form. Very important to keep the form here. Engage the core and breathe. Five seconds, guys, keep pushing. And time, good. Those shoulders should be burning. Let me get ready for the kettlebell swings. Once I catch my breath, again, engage the core, power the movement through the hips, and here we go. I'm making sure that I'm keeping my core fired up. That's what's gonna protect my lower back in this movement. And drive from the hips. And time, good job guys. 20 seconds, take advantage. Get ready for your reverse lunges. Grab the kettlebell. We're gonna step back to that left foot first. Here we go. Make sure your glutes are burning here. They should be. If they're not, we're not using enough weight. Three seconds. Do what you can do, guys. The point is it should be challenging. And you should be keeping good form. Almost there, guys. Keep pushing for me. Five seconds. And time. Whew. All right, guys. We have one more circuit of that. We can do it. I'm going to go ahead and set up. Step on the band through and press it out. Come on. It's your last circuit in this round. You want to give me everything you got. Almost there, guys. Five seconds. Oh, it's burning. Rest. Good job. Give me 20 seconds. Whew, how are you feeling? I'm going to get ready for the swings. Again, I'm going to focus here. I'm going to fire up my core. And let's get going. Good, focus on the breath. Keep it moving. A few more seconds, guys. Give me some power. And time. Whew. One more to get through this circuit. Whew. Get ready. Give me everything you got. You get a long rest after this circuit. Five, four, Three, two, here we go. Swing it forward. Keep it up. You're almost there. Four seconds to switch. And switch for me.
You know, if the swing is too hard for you guys right now, just leave it out and do the reverse lunges. But push it. Whew. One more. Yes. Awesome, guys. That was your first circuit. You get two minutes, 20 seconds to rest now, and I'll see you right back here for the second one. guys for the second circuit in this workout where we're gonna start with the super band. I want you to step on the band with both feet, take a wide parallel stance and then slightly turn those toes out. Grab the band with just one hand. We're gonna squat down and press the band up in a sumo squat overhead press. So when you're ready we're gonna start our interval. Ready, set and go. Squat down, press it up. Again, we're really thinking about engaging our core here. <sighs> Extending the arm all the way up. <sighs> and pushing this movement for 20 seconds before we switch to the other arm. <sighs> nice job, guys. Switch it around. Squat down, press it up. 20 seconds. Again, check in with that core. Make sure it's fired up. Four seconds, guys. Keep pushing. Nice job. All right, we're gonna move on to our waist wheeler exercise where we're gonna use the kettlebell. Now, the important thing about this movement is that we're using our abs to stop the movement. We're gonna swing the kettlebell from side to side and the abs Stop the momentum. Here we go. Start with me. Five seconds, guys. And time. Awesome. Take 20 seconds here, and we're moving back to the super band. To set up this last exercise in the circuit, you're gonna loop the band so that you have double strands. We're gonna step on it with both feet and we're going down into a deadlift, rowing at the bottom and coming back up. Continue with me. Make sure you're keeping your back flat, core engaged, and you're really sitting the hips back. Nice job, guys. Moving through the circuit again after your 20 second rest. And if you remember, that's our sumo squat overhead press. So I'm gonna set the band up. 
Wide parallel, turning the toes out. I'm gonna grab hold with my right arm, press it up. Take your time. If your shoulders are a little tired here, the most important thing is that you lock out the movement at the top and you can take your time doing that. Good job. Let's switch it up. Other side. Make sure you're sinking deep into that squat. And breathe for me, guys. Five seconds. Nice job. Take 20, grab some water. And let's move on to our waist whittlers. Whew. Grab your kettlebell, get ready. Swinging side from side. You're creating a little arch with this swing. Stop the momentum, pull it up, swing it around. Nice job, guys. Set up for that last exercise by looping the band, stepping on the inside. Get ready for your deadlift. And here we go, push those hips back, bend the knees, row at the bottom. Make sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades together when you row the band. Make sure we're really activating the back muscles to the full extent. Three seconds, guys. And that's it, come on. Let's move through it one more time. And guys, that's gonna be it. So catch your breath, wipe your brow, and grab your super band again. One more time, sumo squat, overhead press. Here we go. Hopefully you're breathing as heavy as I am. If this starts to get too hard, just do the squat, guys. That's okay. And switch to band. How are you doing? Keep pushing, guys. We're almost there. Again, if it's too hard, just hold the band out the shoulder. Four seconds. And time. Good. <sighs> Moving on to our waist whittlers. Grab your kettlebell. Take a few deep breaths and get ready to go with me. Feet are parallel. We're grounded. Get ready. Here we go, side to side. And time. Whew. Last 20 second rest, guys. And that means this is our last time with a final exercise. Get ready for me. I want you ready to go as soon as that time starts. Give me three, two, here we go. Deadlift, row at the bottom. Pull it up. Deadlift, row. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Give me all you got. This is the last one. One more, guys. Nice job. And that is the last time we're going through this circuit. You have completed the 2220 workout. But stay with me for a short cool down. Spread those feet apart, parallel. We're going to stretch the right arm up. I want you reaching up towards the ceiling and bending towards the left side. and breathe into that side. Bring it back center, other side. Reaching up 
and over. Bring it back center. I'm gonna have you roll it all the way down. Stretch out those hamstrings. I'm gonna have you walk your hands around to the right side. And slowly walk it back over to the left side. Back center. I want you to turn your toes out, squat down for me. You can place your elbows on your knees and you're gonna twist to the left side by pressing that right elbow into the right knee. Switching it around to the other side. And finally bringing it back center. And we're gonna move into what was like our downward facing dog, but more of a calf stretch. So I want you to place your right foot on top of the left heel and fire up your quad. So flex the quad and hold that for me. Relax the head, check in and switch sides. Breathing into these stretches. We're gonna slowly move into a plank position and drop the hips down to an upward facing dog. Engage the core here. And if this is too much on your lower back, you can lower it down to your elbows. And that's just fine. Breathe into the abs here. When you're ready, we're gonna push back into an all four position where we're gonna do a few reps of cat-cow. So tuck the chin to the chest, rounding the spine, and push the floor away from you. On your next inhale, you're gonna arch the back, look up, keep the core engaged here to protect the lower back, and on your next exhale, Round that spine again. One more with the inhale. And bring it back center. Place the feet together, knees apart, and sit back for me in child's pose. And really reach forward with those fingertips so we stretch out the back. Take as much time as you need in this position. And when you're ready, slowly make your way back up. Awesome job, guys. That is your 2220 workout for today. Be sure to check out the other two workouts in this series. And make sure you do one of the workouts at least three to five times a week to maximize your results. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water, want to stay hydrated, get plenty of rest, and eat healthy. I'll see you next time.